food scientists in um, the United States and in Russia and in the other partner countries prepare food for us in 16-day cycles. What that means is that for any given individual, we can go through uh, a menu for 16 days and not see the same combination of, of items uh, on two consecutive days. After the 17th day, we'll start with uh, the first day again. Food comes up to us in containers like, like these here. The ones with the red label uh, are, contain uh, Russian food items. The ones with the blue label contain um, food from the United States or one of the other Western uh, partner agencies. Each container also is identified with the type of uh, food that's inside as well. So, for example, the, the blue one that I'm holding contains uh, meats and pouches and cans. And the red one that I'm holding contains um, a general selection of, uh, of uh, Russian food cans and uh, thermal stabilized products. As you can see around our dinner table, this is a table for six. We don't have plates. Of course, we don't need plates in, uh, in space because, again, everything would just float away. As I can demonstrate as well with this chocolate drink here, uh, you can just leave it in front of you. You don't need to put it on the table. It just stays where it is. Uh, also, for eating, we usually don't eat knives and forks because uh, everything is pre-cooked, everything is, uh, pre, uh, is ready for us to eat. So we typically eat with spoons. So here I have one of my spoon containers that I have here and uh, we'll shortly demonstrate how we eat with spoons on board of the ISS. Another type of food that we eat is fresh food. Uh, periodically, uh, a vehicle will come and visit the space station. We're expecting the space shuttle to arrive in the next three or four days. Or a progress cargo vehicle will arrive. And in those occasions, we can bet that there will be fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. We don't um, uh, keep uh, fresh fruit and vegetables on board the station because we don't have a large fridge to store uh, all of them for long periods of time. But uh, for the first few days or weeks after a cargo vehicle or the shuttle has visited, we do have some fresh fruit and vegetables. Frank is opening a container of um, rehydrated uh, fruit. He'll open it very carefully with a pair of scissors. As long as the food sticks to itself, it's safe to be uh, opened up. Liquids will need to be um, eaten or drank with a, with a straw. And it's important, uh, since we share utensils, to always wipe them off between each use so that the next uh, person may uh, feel comfortable using the, the utensil or the, the pair of scissors. Now with the uh, package open, Frank will use his spoon and take out some, uh, what is this, Frank? These are uh, berries, it's a medley of berries with uh, sugar. It's very tasty, actually. So he'll get it to stick to his spoon and then uh, slowly uh, bring it up to his mouth. If he moves fast, then the berry will go on its own trajectory and might miss Frank's mouth. One of the other things that we have here in the space station uh, to eat is actually bonus food. Bonus food is very good because it contains a selection of food that we really like and uh, that we can choose ourselves. Of course, they still need to, to meet certain shelf life, so it means that uh, they cannot uh, go off in uh, the time that we are here on board. But uh, one of the examples of the bonus food that I have here in front of me is a uh, sausage, for example, uh, Italian sausage, which is, of course, uh, very nice uh, to eat, which I share with uh, all my crewmates. Uh, Bob brought already for uh, tonight some uh, clams. Uh, and this is always, uh, of course, in favor, and as I said, uh, eating on board of the space station, like Earth, but even more so here, I think, is a very social occasion. So most of our bonus food uh, and goodies that we have, we share with our crewmates, because it's more a pleasure to share than to enjoy it by yourself. I have one more bonus food item here, which is not part of the standard space station menu. Uh, this is a special type of granola bar made with um, uh, maple sugar. I'm Canadian, so I have a special fondness for the taste of uh, maple sugar. All of the bonus food items all need to be flight qualified. That means that the food scientists will test that they don't contain any uh, microbial uh, contamination that, that might cause ill health amongst uh, astronauts. Frank is enjoying his um, medley of berries, and I'm going to try some thermal-stabilized pears. 
One of the other aspects, of course, by heating and space, is that we still have some waste. As you see, the packages, they are quite small, they are made as tiny as they can, but they still are uh, uh, waste that we need to take care of, because we have very little space on board here of the International Space Station. That's why usually we are very careful when we eat every package that we open, it's eaten up completely. We don't waste any food here because it's uh, uh, very expensive to bring the food up to the space station. And then once the packages are empty, we pack them as small as we can, and then we put them in one of those little bags, as uh, Bob can show here. Uh, also these bags we put as full as we can, and then once they are full, then they go into the progress, and then they burn up on uh, re-entry uh, to Earth. But we are very, really very careful in uh, packing our stuff, and in taking care of the environment uh, here on the, the ISS. For example, I was using there a small wipe I have here, a small wipe to uh, clean my utensils. Usually, a wipe like this, we try to do to use it for at least two or three days. We cannot afford every time to use a number of wipes to wipe our utensils because uh, this would uh, make it uh, way too much uh, garbage here on the space station. We live inside a spacecraft. Um, that means that we're sheltered from the sun. Uh, sunlight is actually helpful because the exposure of our skin to sunlight uh, on Earth allows our body to produce vitamin D. Living in a spacecraft, we do, our body is unable to do that. So part of our daily routine is to take two vitamin D tablets and uh, we take a total of 800 uh, units, which helps to maintain strong, healthy bones in space. Uh, the vitamin D tablets come up with our food packages, so uh, we're prompted or reminded to take vitamin D. It's also interesting that uh, each crew develops a fondness for one particular food item. One of the, our favorites uh, to eat for this crew of Expedition 20 is tortillas, which are contained inside this package here, spread with honey, lots of honey. And that's one of our favorites. We all uh, finish off our, our meal each night with uh, tortilla with, with honey. It's a, it sounds like a strange combination, but believe me, after you've been in space for 45 days, it's a real thrill. So this was it for our uh, food tasting session of uh, today. Uh, it was really a pleasure that you could, could join us uh, for it. Uh, it's really nice that you see as astronauts that we can do all of this. Uh, but it's also really nice, I think, for the nutritionists and the scientists that work in our food labs to be able to support this. So if you're interested in food, maybe you can also go for a space, ca space career. At this from the International Space Station, we hope you find the subject of food and nutrition aboard the International Space Station interesting. Goodbye.